Aubrey, where's Ryder? I mean, I thought you said you were taking him out with you. Is he still at Landfair? No, he was with me. Then where is he? I gave him to Ford. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Hey, look who's back. <laughs> oh my God, is it? Is that Ryder? Ryder, hey, you remember Uncle James, don't you? I think he remembers you. Say hi. How did you get him back? <laughs> hi. Where would all the tests? Somebody let me out of here! Oh, Bobby, thank God I need to come back. It isn't Robert Ford. Bess, what are you doing in here? I'm not in here. I'm in here. What if, what do you want? You know what I want. Uh, no, I never know what you want. I don't speak uptight, bitch. Then I'll spell it out for you. It's time for you to come back inside and let Jessica out. Over Jessica's dead body. Wait, Ford took Ryder? Aubrey, we need to call the police. Wait, wait no, 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 wait, it wasn't like that. Ford didn't steal him. Well, then what? I gave Ryder to Ford for a few hours. You let Ford take Ryder away? I gotta go. No, wait! No, I need to go find Ford before he takes Ryder and just never comes back. I had to do it, Joey. I had no choice. So then I used the dirt that Tess gave me on Aubrey and Joey's marriage, and I persuaded Aubrey to let me borrow him for the afternoon. Oh, wait, so, so Tess just offered up that information? That doesn't sound like her. Well, in exchange, I was supposed to get her out of St. Anne's. Well, Bobby, you, you didn't do it, did you? No, I tried, but I couldn't do it. What in the hell were you thinking, dude? You you could have risked all your chances of getting custody of Ryder. I know, which is why I was going to leave her in St. Anne's after I found out what I needed to know, but... But what? I, I couldn't do it. I was all set to go out the door, and I just, I just heard Tess screaming and yelling, and... I don't know, I guess I felt sorry for her or something. Yeah. Yeah, something. Let Jessica out. Your time is up. You've had your fun, and it's landed you in St. Anne's. Again. I won't be here long. I know. The doctors are already pursuing integration. They can pursue it all they want. I'm never going to let Jessica out. Well, then they will have no choice but to resort to electroshock therapy. Never gonna happen. Bobby's gonna save me. Robert Ford has no interest in you. He was in this for one reason only. His son. He only came here last night to get information on Ryder's custodial parents. His only hope at reclaiming his child. I'm sorry. Are you saying something? Because all I hear is static. You must understand this, Tess. Robert Ford doesn't care about you. He is merely a desperate father trying to reclaim his son. Okay. Ford was threatening to go to the judge about us. Somehow he found out. What, that you were a con artist and you only married me to steal my family's money? No, that we weren't the perfect couple that the court thinks we are. I had to do something. But don't worry. Ford is not going to take off with him. Aubrey, how do you know that? Okay? Nobody thought Marty would kidnap Liam. It's fine, Joey. Ford just wanted to spend the day with his son. I felt bad for him. And the day he came to your dad's house to spend time with him, your heart broke for him too, remember that? Ford just misses his little boy. He'll bring him back. He better. Okay, but don't pretend that, that you only gave Ryder to Ford because you felt sorry for him. Because we all know that the only person you care about is yourself. That is not true. Really? I mean, you were afraid that if Ford went to the judge, you would lose the only thing that was forcing me to stay married to you. I mean, am I right? I mean, do you really think you can use whatever time we have left with Ryder to make up for everything that you did yes, to me? Yes, Joey, I do. I just need to show you how much I love you. Show, okay, like, like you showed me how much you loved me while you were sleeping with Cutter behind my back. Do you honestly think that I'm ever going to trust you again? I mean, really, give it up. But right, Kelly knows how much she means to me, and she knows that there's a chance we can be together when Jessica comes back and she's able to take care of Ryder herself. You're wrong about Ford. As a matter of fact, Bessie, I gave him the dirt on Aubrey and Joey and he came back to spring me. And here you still are. Because we got caught! If those orderlies had to come in two minutes later! Undoubtedly, Ford wanted to get caught. No, he didn't. 
He wanted to get me out of here, and he is gonna come back for me. You don't know him the way I knew. Oh, no. I knew this would happen. That dang little man. What? Don't you think we should talk about this? About what? About the fact that you had all the information you needed to get Ryder back, and then you risked everything by going back to help Tess. I told you, I felt sorry for her. Yeah, I don't buy that, Bobby. Well, then I don't know what to tell you, James. How about the real reason why you went back? What other reason would there be? What are you babbling about? Afraid what would happen? You're falling in love with Robert Ford. Dude, you're totally falling in love with Tess. I am not falling for Tess. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you keep saying over because and Because it's true! Oh, 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 really? Because you had all the dirt you needed on Joey and Aubrey. And dude, you were done. You could have left, you could have left Tess there and she would have been out of your life for good. But no, no, instead you had to run right back and risk everything. Dude, you, you could have been arrested. Not to mention you could have lost every chance of getting custody of Ryder. So, why would you risk all of that if you're not even into her? I hate Robert Ford. This can only end badly for you, Tess. Case in point, Nash. You fell in love with him. Ultimately, you were integrated and Jessica re-emerged. And what happened next? I know what happened. I disappeared. Jessica came back. And Nash fell in love with Jessica. What do you care? You don't even have feelings. It's not only my job to protect Jessica, but everyone that lives inside of her. I don't want your heart to be broken when we are all integrated. No one's getting integrated. That's not an option. And neither is a relationship with Robert Ford. Only Jessica is allowed to have relationships. You cannot. It is not permitted. Why not? I'm a consenting adult. You're not a person, Tess. And Jessica's body is not yours to give. You can go now. I strongly urge you to stop thinking about Robert Ford. To do otherwise is futile. So Kelly's okay waiting for you while we stay married. Kelly knows that the only reason I'm still with you is to make sure my nephew doesn't end up in foster care. Okay, Kelly knows how much my family means to me, and now she knows how much she means to me too. Then if Kelly means so much to you, what are you doing here with me? Why are you at her bedside making it up to her? Because Kelly didn't welcome you back with open arms, did she? Why are we even talking about this? I hate Robert Ford! And each reiteration is less convincing than the last. Shut up! The only thing I need from Bobby is... Bobby? The only thing I need from Robert Ford is his disgusting brute force to get me out of here. As soon as he springs me, I'm gonna run as far away from that vain, shallow, womanizing, slobbering, preening, iron-pumping jerk as I can get. We're part of the same person. You can hide your feelings from yourself, but you can't hide them from the gatekeeper. How many times do I have to tell you? I went back for tests because I felt sorry for her, not because I, I, I'm into her. I heard you the first time. All right, then how about this? Tess is a nasty, miserable, selfish, vile lowlife. All she ever did was insult me, laugh at me, and, and tell me I was bad in bed every chance she got. Mm! I wanted to kill her every day. Well, there is a very thin line between love and hate, brother. A very thin line. And you just crossed it. It's gonna cause you a world of hurt. I'm gonna prove to Kelly how much I love her. Okay, but even if I don't, even if she wants to spend her time with, with John McBain or anybody else, well, that's fine because I would rather be alone than waste one more second with you. I deserve that. Okay, and right now, I'm only with you for one reason and one reason only to take care of my nephew while Jess can. And the second Jessica comes back, you're gone. And I cannot wait until the moment that I'm free of you. And, and one more thing. If Ford doesn't have Ryder back by five, I'm holding you personally responsible.
I've got to go to work. Great. See you later. Dude, seriously, you're you're falling for someone who isn't even real. Tess is a part of Jessica, right? Right? And once Jessica comes back, Tess is con. Well, it doesn't matter, because I'm not interested in Tess. Well, I hope that's true. I don't want to see you get hurt. You can keep denying your feelings for Robert Ford. Whether you admit them or not, it makes no difference. Good, because for the last time, I do not have feelings for Robert Ford. How do you explain the hideous blunder you made by trusting Cutter Wentworth? What does Cutter have to do with this? You married him because you were running away from your feelings for Robert Ford. If you hadn't been falling in love, Tess, you would never have ended up in here waiting for your prince to come. You know, there are easier ways of becoming a daddy rather than fighting for Ryder. We could make a new baby right here, right now. You don't have to hide anymore. Not with me. Oh my god. Is James right? I need a real man. Is that real enough for you? You don't have to hide anymore. Not with me. Oh my god. Is Bess right? This is impossible. This can't be happening. I'd really be falling for that skanky bitch. Could I really be falling for that sleazy bastard?